Our story begins with Jacqueline. She and her aunt has just moved to Sherpia from Chicago. Which is weird because, you know, why the fuck would you move out of Chicago? Other than the very multiple reasons why you would move out to Chicago. But the difference is that they're in the middle of nowhere now. Yay. There's also, like, snowmen everywhere because it snows there all the time. And, you know, Jacqueline, being a well-adjusted human being, is like, Why the fuck are there snowmen everywhere? You know? Not realizing that snowmen are a fairly popular thing to make. But they are weird because they're exactly the same. Every single one of them. So Jacqueline's like, yo, children, why are the snowmen the same? And they're like, I don't fucking know, but don't go to the top of the mountain because there's a snowman. And Jacqueline's like, fuck you. I'm going to go anyways. And then there's this hermit. His name is Conrad. And he's like, yo, don't go to the top. And she's like, fuck you. But then Conrad gets pissed off and scares her. Then at night, she's like, yo, what the fuck is that sound? And she just hears, like, howls or something. Fuck if I know. It might be moaning. Fucking snowman moaning. And the kids are like, listen, that was the snowman. You see, he used to be a wizard. And his wife was a witch. And she turned him into a snowman and trapped him inside of a cave. And that is why we have the snowmen, you see, because they protect us from the big snowman. And she's like, you're fucking stupid. Show me the snowman. And so they go up to see the snowman. And she does see the snowman. And the snowman's like, listen up, bitch. I'm your dad. She's like, no, you're fucking not. You're a snowman. But, you know, he's like, listen, I am your dad, dumbass. She's like, oh, okay, then. I will read this magical poem that, for whatever reason, I keep bringing up in my head. Even though I've never read it in, like, ten years, I'm going to bring it up anyways, and I'm going to fucking read it because it may or may not be a magical spell. But then her aunt shows up and, like, no, don't read the magical spell because that is not your dad. That is a snowman. <laughs> and she's like, fuck you. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. And so she reads the snowman poem. And the snowman becomes a monster. Because obviously the snowman was not her father. And she's like, oh fuck, oh shit, I am going to die now. But then, snowmen. The snowmen. They come. And they come on the, the monster He's like, fuck, no, do not do this to me. And he gets trapped inside of the cave. Yeah. And it turns out that Conrad is actually Jacqueline's dad. And the, the snowmen are like, listen, I get that this is cool family bonding time, but, like, I'm tired. Please let me go to sleep. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul With a corncob pipe and a button nose and two eyes